From the ultra-creepy abandoned theme parks of Asia to some of the most haunted and neglected parks in the USA, here's a glimpse into 10 of the most abandoned haunted theme parks across the globe. Number 10. Atlantis Marine Park, Australia Atlantis Marine Park was built in 1981 with high hopes for tourism. The park is located near Perth in Australia, and at the time of its creation, it was a shiny new ocean theme park with all the bells and whistles. The giant statue of Neptune with his trident is the main image of the park, as it stands over 30 feet tall. The park had lots of pools and other strange ocean-themed attractions, and it was hoping to be the premier leisure destination of the area totally designed around the theme of Atlantis. However, the park did not make as much money as it had hoped. Even with nine dolphins as entertainment, the park couldn't survive. It ultimately closed in 1990. Since then, the park has regularly been vandalized. In 2015, a crew of volunteers refurbished the giant sculpture of King Neptune, but the park is still greatly in disrepair and still abandoned. As for whether it's haunted or not, that really depends on you and your visit. If you were to roam through Atlantis Marine Park at night, perhaps the ghost of King Neptune would haunt you with his trident. Number 9. Pripyat Amusement Park, Ukraine The Pripyat Amusement Park, if nothing else, is haunted by the memory of the Soviet Union and their mistakes, and the horrible tragedy of the Chernobyl radioactive meltdown. The park itself is not very large, but it's definitely one of the most haunting on the list. The park was supposed to open on May 1st of 1986, but as we all know, the Chernobyl disaster put an end to that pretty quickly. The park never even got a chance to open, as the reactor melted on April 26th and caused the entire nearby town to evacuate overnight. It was a huge catastrophe that cost roughly $18 billion and saw many people lose their lives. But a lesser known fact is, according to theme park tourist, that the amusement park actually did open the day after the disaster but only for a few hours to keep the occupants of the evacuated town busy while they waited for further instructions. Today, the amusement park is dead. Its four main attractions are still there, but they're radiated and hauntingly still. You have the bumper cars, the swing boats, and of course, the iconic Pripyat Ferris wheel. The park is creepy itself without being surrounded by derelict apartment buildings and the memory of nuclear disaster. You can visit this location from the capital of Ukraine on guided tours out of Kiev. Number 8. Spray Park, Germany On the outskirts of Berlin is a 60-acre abandoned amusement park known as Spray Park. All the structures are run down and the entire place is locked behind gates, with some pretty strict warning signs about entering. But this doesn't stop urban explorers from hopping the fence and checking out this abandoned and possibly haunted amusement park. It first opened in 1969 and was the only amusement park in East Germany, which was at the time under Soviet control. It's surprising that the park lasted as long as it did. It didn't shut down until 2001 when attendance plunged and they couldn't maintain the park any longer. Over the next decade, it fell into complete disrepair. But with time comes creepiness. This park has even been the backdrop for several TV shows and movies according to CNET. And while there might not be a whole lot of ghosts wandering around, all it takes is a bit of an imagination and a dark tour of the park's decaying rides and rusted contraptions to give you the feeling of a Halloween night gone wrong. Speaking of Halloween, would you go to one of these places on Halloween or would you rather stay at home? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 7. Six Flags New Orleans, USA I have long been under the impression that all of New Orleans is haunted. So it comes as no surprise that Six Flags New Orleans is possibly the most haunted theme park in the entire world. There's no shortage of people stepping up to claim paranormal and supernatural experiences at the now abandoned amusement park. It was extremely popular when the park opened in 2000, originally as Jazzland. Six Flags purchased the park two years later and gave it some good upgrade, but then in 2005, the park was demolished by Hurricane Katrina. The entire amusement park was under seven feet of flood water for over a month. As you can imagine, the damage was so great that the park never reopened to the public. It was a total write-off for Six Flags. To prove how creepy this park is, there have been a ton of movies filmed here, including Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and Jurassic Park. And even though the park is technically closed, that doesn't stop people from going in and checking out the horror within. And according to many of the explorers, they report feeling the sensation that someone is watching them while inside the park. Whether it's nerves or real ghosts is anybody's guess.
but I would say an evening trip to this abandoned park would definitely send some chills down your spine. Number 6. Williams Grove Amusement Park, USA Pennsylvania has its very own haunted theme park too. It's known as Williams Grove Amusement Park, and it's an extremely creepy place with a carnival vibe. We all know carnivals are far creepier than any modern theme park, and the rotting structures of the Williams Grove Park are some of the creepiest. Plus, it's in Pennsylvania, which is creepy enough on its own. Supposedly, the site began as a favorite picnicking spot in the 1850s, and then the rides began to show up near the end of the 1920s. But in 1972, the amusement park was almost completely destroyed by Hurricane Agnes. It opened back up for a little while and then was closed once more in 2005. Even though it's closed, there are still a lot of attractions that have not been disassembled. Among the creepiest is the ice cream truck sitting empty, just waiting to abduct somebody. And to make things worse, the rides are mostly made of wood, and the entire park has a very old carnival feel to it. I definitely wouldn't want to be trapped here overnight with whatever Pennsylvania ghosts are haunting the place. A lot can happen between 1850 and 2020, and who knows what's been left behind. Number 5. River County Water Park, USA now let's check out River County Water Park, an abandoned theme park that is extremely haunting. It was actually Disney World's very first water park, and it opened in June of 1976, but it closed only 25 years later in 2001. After closing, rather than waste all that money cleaning up the site, Disney just kind of left it there. In the 15 years since the park closed, it's become an overgrown nest for urban explorers and possibly ghosts. According to Mental Floss, it's one of only two Disney parks that is ever permanently closed. The other one is Discovery Island, which has an exceptionally dark past of its own. River Country Water Park does have its appeal. It looks more like an abandoned pirate hideout than a creepy carnival, but that doesn't make it any less haunted. This thing is half in the swamp, all the rides and structures are falling apart, and the buildings have been left in complete disrepair. Who knows what kind of shady individuals or undead swamp monsters are prowling the grounds today. Number 4. Boblo Island, Canada When you think of haunted and abandoned places, you probably don't think about Canada. But Canada has its share of creepy places, and more ghosts than the three people who live there can handle. This brings us to Boblo Island, an abandoned amusement park from the Victorian era still rusting away to this very day. The theme park originally opened in 1898 with bright lights, whirling rides, and even organ music. It attracted tons of people to the island shores for lots of wholesome 19th century family fun. Then, for almost a full century, it was only accessible by steam-powered riverboats. Passengers from Detroit were brought across the water, while other ferries brought visitors from Canada and even from Michigan. But inevitably, the young people lost interest in the old-fashioned charm of the place. Modern attractions became more popular, and the Boblo Island theme park had to close its doors in 1993. Since then, luxury homes have been built on the island. And while most of the structures of the theme park have been torn down, some of them haven't. If you're lucky, you can still hear the organ music playing at night, or even an unexpected shriek. If you have any desire to go to this island, you actually have to take a kayak. But be careful, because it's illegal. Number 3. Gulliver's Kingdom Amusement Park, Japan the giant statue of Gulliver tied to the ground in the middle of this Japanese amusement park is one of the creepiest things ever. I'm of course talking about the famous Gulliver's Kingdom amusement park in the Yamanashi prefecture of Japan. This place is so weird that it gets a creepy factor of 8. It was only in operation from between 1997 and 2001, before being abandoned. But it's no wonder it was abandoned. It's such a strange idea to make an entire amusement park around Gulliver's travels. The park was closed not only because of poor ticket sales, but also because the park was way too close to the Aokigara suicide forest and the small village that was once the home to the doomsday cult that orchestrated the 1995 gas attack in Tokyo. Someone actually built this theme park in the worst possible location, and it shut down only after five years. During the time it was abandoned, the site was heaven for urban explorers looking for a creepy and haunted amusement park. But unfortunately, it was demolished in 2007. If it ever was haunted, did the ghosts vanish with the buildings? Or did they just slink back into the suicide forest where they came from? Number 2. Okpo Land, South Korea Okpo Land in South Korea was a very popular amusement park up until May of 1999, when it closed overnight. After this theme park was closed, it became an eyesore slowly decaying in the hills overtop the nearby city. 
One of the main attractions in the park was the duck-themed ride, and according to The World Abandoned, the ride was responsible for at least one fatality in the early 1990s. The story says that a train derailed, fell, and killed one person while injuring a few others. But this was the 90s, and the train kept on running, until it struck again in 1999, claiming another life. Unsurprisingly, the amusement park closed down immediately after the second death. It's now completely abandoned just the way it was at the end of the 90s, a haunting piece of nostalgia. And the infamous duck ride is still there. Or at least it was until the demolition started in 2011. But even if the rides are destroyed and the park reduced to a few nuts and bolts, will the screams of the victims of the infamous duck ride still be heard at night resounding down the hills and into the sleepy town? Out of all the amusement parks on this list, Okpo Land is a prime candidate for legitimately being haunted. Number 1. Chippewa Lake Amusement Park, USA The final haunted park on our list comes from the USA. It's Chippewa Lake Amusement Park, and it was open for a full 100 years before ultimately being closed due to poor attendance and bad management. The park operated between 1878 and 1978, and over the span of 100 years, the historic Ohio Amusement Park weaved a pretty rich history. Back in the 1800s, the main attractions at the park were a steamboat ride and a small roller coaster, which had to be manually pushed back up to the top after each ride. There wasn't much in the way of mechanization back then. After the park shut down in 78, its former owner asked to be buried on the grounds. According to theme park tourist, the request was granted, and former owner Mac Beach was buried in an unknown location somewhere at the park. This is definitely the only story we know about where an owner has been buried in an unmarked grave on the fairgrounds. It's actually unbelievable, but because of this oddly morbid act, there is definitely reason to believe that the amusement park is haunted. Even though it shut down in 1978, it still hasn't been demolished. All the rides have been rotting for the last few decades. A visit to this place now is like a visit to a post-apocalyptic future. And while we know of at least one guy buried somewhere inside the park, who really knows how many bodies have been buried there over the past 100 years? Which of these haunted theme parks would you like to visit the most? Don't be shy. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon on the next video.